Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, November 22nd, 2023. This is Chief Meteorologist John Nance with for Longmont Public Media. Sunday the 26th, we'll have a full moon out there. It should be beautiful. Uh, the sun's pretty blank right now. There's some new sunspots coming around the limb over here, but uh, not much to talk about there. For drought, uh, things are getting a little worse, a little drier. We are into extreme drought in the south central counties here, and a little uh, abnormally dry slipping in on the eastern plains, but hopefully this next storm that we're going to talk a lot about is going to push that back some. Nationally, we have a little less drought down in the south in Texas and in the southeast. Uh, Louisiana is very dry, though. Smoke-wise, not much nationwide and nothing in Colorado. Looking at the snowpack animation, you can just see the uh, each little storm here. I think that's it, 15th. Um, so this one should push it back towards uh, green. We need to get... Uh, get some snow down and, and hold on to that oh there's one more yeah see we are we're scraping along here pretty low but it's still not much snow is expected at this point in the season looking for precipitation over the last week the western slopes and mountains got uh, some nice moisture half inch to inch liquid equivalent very little happened on the uh, eastern plains though palmer divide got a little bit here about a quarter inch to a half inch of liquid. For severe weather, there's a little chance as a uh, quasi-tropical system goes by the east coast, but after that, no thunderstorms for the next couple days, including with our system. So looking to the northern Rockies, you can see our storm system beginning to come together up there in Washington, Oregon, Idaho, Montana. Slips down into Wyoming uh, evening on Thanksgiving Day. So Thanksgiving Day still won't be too bad. Uh, Friday is pretty much snow off and on all day. Heavier in the morning, kind of trailing off after that. And I don't want you to be putting stuff up in front of my presentation. Thank you, computer. All right, so normal high temperatures. We're almost 70 uh, as I record here on Wednesday, and normally it's only 49, dropping down to 46. Normal low temperatures are now entering the teens at night, so we would expect. I uh, can see the really serious cold, though, where the high temperatures are down below the low uh, t temperature ex expectations, and there's a, about a day and a half of precipitation that almost all the ensemble models pick up. There's our storm getting its act together in the northern Rockies. Uh, we're still pretty dry down here and across the south. That was water vapor uh, satellite image. And this is what Friday morning looks like. We have a briefly cut off low rolling right for us. Lots of jet stream action. Uh, pretty strong. And there's the uh, middle of the snow, but it's, it's snowing starting Thursday night and still going somewhat on Saturday morning. Okay, but oh, I'm doing a comparison though. So that's what the um, North American model sees for, and for the very same time period the GFS, which I normally show here, is showing the snow a little bit missing there in the northern Rockies of Colorado. Um, the Canadian, I think it is, yes, um, looking very similar, lots of snow. Uh, Saturday noon is also very cold. We have temperatures around 20 degrees below normal. So we're going from 20, 25 above to 20, 25 below. So about a 50 degree temperature swing, 40 to 50 degrees colder. Uh, then we have to go beyond Monday into the very next Monday, so December 4th, for our next system. So it'll be dry after this one pull, pulls out. And you can see it's several western slopes and higher elevation storm at this time, but that's so far away that who knows so let's put this week into motion you can see the trough digging down cutting off and then moving out on saturday kind of reconnecting with the jet stream and away it goes but we stay cold because we have that fetch of air coming from due north before it takes a turn heading east over us 
So November 29th, a little bit of cutoff down over uh, Arizona. The ridge is back. That comes out but doesn't really do anything. And then as we approach the 4th, you can see on the west coast, big trough coming in. And away it goes. All right, take a look at temperatures. We are above normal right now, but very quickly the cold air comes down. It's very shallow, so it can't get over the Rockies at first. So it stays on the eastern side. And then eventually the cold air is there and then pushing down into Texas. Kind of a second surge. Eh, it's still not much in the western states, though. We, we are right at the shoreline of the shallow cold air and then that goes the remaining snowpack uh, is visible in the colder temperatures there especially in wyoming and there's a weak cold front coming down on the second with a quick warm-up right after that uh just show you the beginning of this is the precipitable water forecast from the gfs you can see above normal precipitable values as the storm does its thing Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and then super dry air comes in behind that. This is dew points, and just interesting to see how extremely dry this polar air is. Negative 13, negative 14 dew points, and, but there's not much to talk about there. So let's take a look at the system itself as it moves. You can see there's like a low that forms halfway through that kind of holds the storm in place. That's why Friday night into Saturday we get a little bit more. There's a, yeah, there we go, and away it goes. It's not affecting the whole west, it's mainly a Colorado Wyoming uh, system. So, for the next five days, uh, notice this little finger of additional moisture. Um, it really shows up in the snow, and we'll see if it holds, but you're going to see a pretty good gradient of snow going west of I-25 versus east of I-25. And even down here where the airport is, you got oh, missing a lot. But that's four, five, six, uh, almost eight inches in there. I think it just gets that color. Um, yeah, so really big difference. Now, with the temperatures being really low, this is a 10 to 1. Uh, snowfall ratio map so one inch of liquid will give you 10 inches of snow if you go to the 15 to 1 which some of the storm will be that fluffy uh, you can see 6 8 10 inches maybe almost 12 in there yeah so it's possible that we could see some neighborhoods really get hit and one side of a town like Fort Collins or Longmont getting a lot more than the eastern side over the next 10 days, not much more comes in. The maps look about the same. So we are almost 70 degrees on Wednesday. Transition day on Thanksgiving. Uh, dropping down to 42 as the first of the cold air starts coming in. Evening, really good chance of snow picking up. And then really cold Friday and Saturday. We're in the 20s. Maybe only the teens um, Friday. It's possible. And maybe some... Uh, temperatures below zero but definitely single digits for a few nights and then we get back to more seasonable 40s so check out longmont leader for frequent weather updates i've got my snowfall roundup for longmont and i will put any watches or warnings we should have a winter storm watch issue that's what the weather service is talking about uh putting one up and we're already to midday wednesday so i'm expecting that to happen this has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth urging you to keep looking up.